Well, I personally believe the fuel for the power of this next person who's going to be coming out is this woman right here. She is the fuel for the power, the fueling of the power of someone that a lot of us know as a basketball legend, a man who is about and in the worlds of lots of different industries and businesses. But this is not a man who is alone. This is a man who has a powerful woman beside him. So I'm not even going to introduce who's coming out. I'm going to let this woman, Miss Cookie Johnson, decide to bring out who she wants to bring out, how she wants to bring him out, and he's coming out right now. So let's go on up. Cookie, what do you have well, to tell him to Mr. do? Mr. Irvin Magic Johnson. How about that? Hey! <laughs> Why, there you are, Mr. Irvin Magic Johnson. <laughs> we were joking backstage. I said, what do you want me to call you? Oh, well, you know, you can call me Irvin. You can call me Magic. I said, well, what about Cookie's husband? <laughs> you can call me that. I get called that a lot. <laughs> I have no problem with that. That's it. That is it. <laughs> See, a, a, a real man understands who really runs the house. That, hey! Yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. That I know is it. I, I got two bosses at home, my wife and my daughter. So all I'm right. <laughs> well, when we talk about the panel that you all are on today in this fireside chat, I named it the magic of partnerships because I really think it embodies what a powerful partnership you all have. What has created that magic in the partnership that has enabled you all to be together as strong empowered people in the worlds of business, in the worlds of philanthropy, in the worlds of sports, in the worlds of parenting. What is that magic? Well, I think first it starts with strong love, um, not only for each other, but as Cookie said earlier, in, in, in God. And then uh, incredible communication oh, yes. uh, between the two of us. And then mutual respect. Mm -hmm. And um, when you think about Cookie and I, we've been together now about 40 years and uh, oh, oh. so you know it's it's even when we had kids we still dated yeah. uh, we date now every weekend we go to a movie or something and so uh, it's been uh, like you said a magical partnership but you know when she has something she wants to get into like her gene line or her book then I get fully behind her uh, I show up and I support her. She's been supporting me for since I was in college and then on with the Lakers and now in business. And it takes a true partnership when you're building something, right? See, the power is understanding self. See, without understanding self, you really can't have power. Mm -hmm. Once you understand who you are, your strength, your weaknesses, then you can understand, okay, I have power to do this, this, and this. Everybody should do a SWAT every sink, probably twice a year. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And if you do that, then you understand what you have to do to keep climbing, keep moving forward. And uh, we just continue to do things together. We make decisions together. And then also, too, we understand our lanes. Uh. You know, when we, we, we have two homes, and she was like, these are the swatches. And I, I was like, <laughs> swatches? That's going to be a... A couch. I don't know nothing about that. Baby, you handle that. I stay, I don't get into that, right? And then, you know, there's things that I handle, and you must understand that, right? And not try to cross over me into her lane, and then vice versa. Well, it's interesting because the panel we had earlier, it was called Power Partnerships Deconstructed. And it was about really trying to break down and understand what makes it. Yours is the magic of it because I think you can deconstruct, but you have to have that special ingredient, that special sauce. You have to have something more, not only individually, but knowing that when those things come together, yeah. that magic that occurs there, is, it is magic and it is magical. So what I'd love to know is how, as partners in business and in life, how do you overcome challenges when you don't see eye to eye on things? I'm going to start just really quickly. For me, um, I think a good marriage starts with understanding that it is a partnership. Mm. And I think a lot of people don't get that right away. Mm -hmm. And, 
you know, we've always been respectful of one another. And there's times, believe it, when we, when we weren't. But we always came back to it because we realized that that's the thing that makes it work. Um, but when there are a lot of marriages out there where they might they think that the one person, you know, is in, is the dominant one and they will lead everything, and you know the other one just follows, or you know then you have two that want to lead and they butt heads all the time. That is not a partnership. A partnership are two people who want to work together. They learn to work together. You know, I'm always there to support him for his work. But then when I came along and said, okay, now I'm ready to go work. You need to support the kids a little bit. You know, give me a little room. He was able to do that for me. And the last thing I want to say, sometimes marriages get into situations where there's a, a, a say, a financial problem. And, you know, you have to think, okay, well, you're the bad runner. It's your fault. No, it's both of you. It's not anyone's fault. Let's say there's a problem. Let's sit down and figure out how to fix it. Right. And we need to move through this to get through this. Mm. Partnership. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you can see why I'm married. I mean, move through this to get through this. I'm just, yes, yes. Yeah, now I do see. You are a very, very fortunate oh, man, and you I know, know it. I'm blessed. I tell yes, that indeed. all the time, you uh, know. Hey, listen, I, I'm not stupid, you okay. know. And so, listen, you're going to have disagreements. Right. And you just have to also understand, is this the real battle I want to pick, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so, honey, you right. No, 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 for real. You're right. Let's just roll with it, and yeah. we good. Because you're going to, you, you hash it out, mm -hmm. go back and forth, and then somebody's got to give sometimes, right? right? To, just, to just move forward. And then what we decided to do was not go to bed upset at each other. Mm -hmm. So let's just, okay, whatever it is, or we disagree to disagree, mm -hmm. and then we move forward. Because when we wake up, and it's another day. Right. And it's another problem that we have to come up with a solution for. And that in any type of partnership is what I think makes a lot of successful partnerships work is an understanding about solutions and you have to get beyond. Right. Yes. You have to have a way to do that because if not, you're never going to move forward. You're never going to be able to do that. So when you were thinking in life or in business about taking on a new endeavor, do you ever go into it thinking about what the goal is that you want, or do you go into it thinking about what the risks are that you're going to have? Well, for, first of all, when we vet a deal, it's very important that we understand the history of this company or this deal, or if it has a history. And so we'll go three to five years back to see how it's been performing, okay. if I'm buying a company. Then we'll look for the next five to 10 years, can we add value to this deal and this company? You're gonna have risk, no question about it. Anytime you write a check, okay. right? There's <laughs> risk involved, trust me. There's no deal that don't have risk, but you wanna mitigate those risks. Look at the Dodgers, when we bought the Dodgers, we were not, uh, we're in the middle of the pack in attendance now. We've been, since we've owned it, we've, we've uh, it's been number one in attendance for six straight years. In MLB, yeah. And we've been performing very well. We won our division six straight years. And then we're in the World Series back-to-back -back years. So it's, it's really good. So, so I think that sometimes the numbers may not look good, but the brand is outstanding. Mm -hmm. And so with that brand, you can, that can turn into currency, and you can turn that in, around if it's a struggling company because of the, the strength of the brand, mm -hmm. you can now put in place a new management team or add different things to, to make it uh, really cash flowing instead of underperforming. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pivot a little and talk about one of the most challenging things you have had to go through as a partnership, as a personal partnership and business partnerships. I'm a focused and I'm a driven guy, right? right? So I was driven focus on making money for my family, mm -hmm. putting us in a real healthy position. And, and, and I got to be a knucklehead because I forgot, mm -hmm. you know, I have kids, I have a beautiful wife. So, you know, she was like, come here. 
<laughs> you got to have some balance in your life. Yes, make the money, but also you have to spend time with the kids. So then I started spending every weekend, I would take them to a movie or my daughter loved Cold Stone. So we was doing all those type of things. Yes. And so I'm doing good. I'm do I thought I'm doing good. You know, three months in a row, I'm doing good every Saturday. So then she says, come here. Oh, yes. You, you know you women got that one look and that one like, come here, I, I'm in trouble again, okay? So I go up to her. She said, you're doing an excellent job with the kids, but you forgot about me. Ooh. So now every weekend right. is date night for us. Right. Friday night, Saturday, movie, dinner. Then we both go whenever to church together or, right. uh, or whenever we can. If I'm on the road or she on the road because oh, yeah. also oh. you know what's a trip what's a trip is this you really get some power when you sitting there at home when she she's used to taking care of me laying everything out you know I got the remote I'm watching football or basketball so she goes on the road now I'm like wait a minute where my where my food at uh, you know, the, kids, so, the kids are independent, so they have their cars. Right. They're gone. Yeah, uh, I'm sitting here now. Wait a minute. I got to take care of myself? Oh, man. You talking about a wake-up call? Well, there it is. Ooh-wee. I said, man. Then you understand the value that your wife brings. And, and I said, wow, now... Every decision, you know, she used to, she got that house moving, and now I got to make decisions. Now I got to, uh, what happens? You know, we got dogs. What am I supposed to do? Uh, what you know, so all these things, I got to lean on her so I understand, you know, how hard she works around the house, but also in our own business and also with our foundation. But he also but, was so great in supporting my dream, mm -hmm. so he even though he was going through that, he still encouraged me to continue and to pursue that dream. And, and, I, and I gained so much more respect for him. I always had oh, it, but even man. more, because he really cared about what I was doing. He really cared about what I was doing. It's one thing to just say, okay, go ahead and do it, you know, but you're gonna fail or whatever. You know, he wasn't like that. He was very encouraging and he, he he's always saying, what can I do to help? Is there anything I can do to help? So when I had my little gene events, he would come. <laughs> he would take a million pictures for me. So um, again, and that's, that's a good sign of a good partnership. Even though he was getting a little frustrated, you know, he had to make an adjustment. But it didn't stop him from being supportive of me and what I was doing. I just did a keynote, and it was called Step Up or Shut Up. When you describe what it is that Cookie did, she could have silenced herself. But instead, she stepped up. And Cookie, you ended up saying, here are the things that I need. Here are the things that we as a family need. And this is what has to happen. Mm -hmm. And that is when, as a partnership... It makes such a big difference because you understand that your voice is equal. Mm -hmm. Your voice is not diminished right. because this voice seems bigger and louder and more well-known. Your voice is equal. How did you come to that to be able to even say, look, because that could have been a very challenging thing to do. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it was. It was scary because um, he could have chose the other, the right. other way and went out the door. Um, but I knew it had to happen. Mm -hmm. And so just, again, praying about it first, mm -hmm. praying about it and having faith that God was going to help work things out for me and then having the faith to step out and, and say something. You know, it's, it's a, a man sometimes we struggle with those type of things, you know, because uh, we want to, you know, be mm -hmm. macho. We want to, you know, but a lot of times we have to listen to our wives to understand how we can do better. Mm -hmm. And then, then also don't take it like it's bad. You know, we had to take it that it's good because I want to be with Cookie for the rest of my life. So I had to make those adjustments and I was, I was happy to do so. But I love going home. I love going home. And it's, it's great for me that when I do come home, I can relax and, and because the business that I, I'm in, the people business, that's the hardest business to be in. Because right. I have to be Magic Johnson every single day. When I walk in, I got, <laughs> I'm, I'm kissing all the babies, shaking right. all the hands. Because that's who I am, you know. I, right. I, I'm making it happen. Eh? Yes. <laughs> you know, I got to make it happen. And so 
<laughs> so the hardest business is the people business. And you, you're in the people business. That's the hardest business to be in. So when I get home, I just want to... And Cookie, she does a great job of giving me like an hour or so. Just, baby, I just can't hear nothing. Give me one hour because I've been dealing with situations and people all day. Mm -hmm. She does that, then we get to talking, and now I can solve, okay, the problems or give her the answers she's, she's looking for. And again, that's partnership. Exactly. So even this event that we're having here, we have our production crew and, hey, everybody doing our audio and our cameras and everything. Boy, oh boy, you had them very concerned. They were very, very concerned because, I'm not going to say which one of them said it. They're like, oh, I did a panel and Magic was on that panel last week and he was just up and he was around and he was down in the audience and he was there and he was walking and he was doing all these things and we couldn't follow him. It was just so hard to follow him. But maybe... If Cookie is here, he may just be right there. Because he's like, I'm not leaving this woman. Uh-uh. This is my power partner. And guess what? We have gone through this. He has not left his seat. The camera people are like, we've been able to get him up on the screen. Haven't been able to have him to follow well, you, him around. You, you know what that, that's called? What's that called? Adapt and adjust. Hey! And so, <laughs> listen, um... <laughs> I protect this woman. This is mm -hmm. my job on earth is protect her. And yes. uh, I normally, I am working the crowd. I am out because I love to walk and talk. Yeah. Right? But uh, when she's here, this is our first event that we've done together. So I'm happy because, you know, it's great to sit here and talk about, you know, the growing pains of our relationship as well as the power of our relationship. Yes. And so it's, that's what it's all about because I can't do anything without this woman and the grace of God, too. Absolutely. So, you know, and that's what it's truly all about. <laughs> that is a perfect, perfect way for us to take some questions. Anyone? Any questions? You can go up to the mic or else one will be taken over to you. Hello. Hi. Thanks for coming and sharing. Um, you mentioned you're a man about strategy and execution. I've spoken with loads of people today, myself included, who have many ideas and plans and all these great things in their head, but not sure how to execute these plans to accomplish their goals. What ways can we go about doing that? Well, you got to write everything first down on paper. Make the vision clear. Yeah, exactly. And then you have to do your homework and research after you put it down. So, because it's one thing to have a vision, and it's another thing to understand, can I make it a business, right? When I met her, I was a big dreamer, and I kept telling her all these plans. I'm gonna be a businessman one day. She kept looking at me like, are you crazy? You play basketball. And I said, oh, I'm gonna own my own business one day. But I had to come up with a plan, and I didn't, turn into a businessman right away. It took me years, but I was getting ready four or five years in the making. Then start researching, whether that's, I want my own salon, I want this, I want that. If you want your own salon, go into 10 salons and see what they're doing, right? Understand not only what's going on today, but what's the future in here, see? So you'll be ready for when it turns into something new. And then last but not least, we as minorities really hurt ourselves because we are smart, but we never think we could actually do it. We don't believe in ourselves. And, it, and sometimes that happens with our best friend or our friends. They say, girl, you can't be a doctor or you can't. I had more of my own people telling me I couldn't be a businessman than other people. If I tell you anything, you got to really do a lot of homework and research. And if you do that, then you can understand if this can really work or not. Okay? And, the, well, there are two. There was one in the center, and then there's one in the front. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Yes. Thank, um, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So what are some characteristics in yourself and in each other that make your family, your business partnerships, and marriage so strong? I, this question is for both of you guys. I, I think for me, it's just I'm, I'm disciplined. You give me a task, I'm going to get it done. And then those who work for me got to be the same way, right? 
and then I'm best in class. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look the part and I'm gonna be the part, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna always come like this. I'm gonna always be on time. They say, hey, you going on at 12? Well, I was here early. I've been doing this for almost 40 years. I've never been late. And I speak probably 100, 200 times a year, right? Never been late in, in over 30 years. That's who I am. I'm a professional. This is what you get from me. So you want some, <laughs> you want magic. This is what, you know, he's going to be disciplined. He coming. He a winner. You know, I'm, I'm trying to win. I don't care if I'm playing my wife. Uh, <laughs> Now, I'm going to let her get, we go to 10. I'm going to let her get to 9. That's hard for me. I'm going to let her do it. But then I'm going to crush her after that, you know. But we're going to still love each other. I'm going to kiss her. And he I'm will. Hug her. <laughs> she, she hate playing he, he any game. He did that to his little daughter. Uh -oh. I crushed her. Yeah, I'm going to crush my daughter, too. She, I'm going to still be dad. But I'm a winner. I, I love to win. I, I, I don't apologize for that either. I'm just, this is who I am. And so... Go ahead. I, that's, well, that's magic. Hey. I guess for me, um, I didn't start working again until my kids got a little older. They were like in high school and junior high school. They were more independent. So then I started doing more and more outside of the home, and he was supportive with it. And I, I discussed it with him beforehand. And that's the thing. Learning to, to communicate is so important. And we that grew over the years. We didn't always have great communication. It grows with you, um, especially if you respect one another. So the key to that was to, to share my vision with him first. Listen, everything we own, we own it together. And now we're incorporating our kids in, into it as well. So uh, I've been blessed. So and I know we got to go, yeah, but I let me just say this for, for you, because I think it's so important that you have panels like this and situations like this, because I learned from so many incredible people back in the day and still I learn today, even today, from everybody out there and yourself, I was able to learn something. So thank you for having us. Thank you for having this yeah. to educate people, bring people together, but last but not least, to give people power. That's it. Yes. And that's, that's it. it. God bless everybody. That's thank it. you. Thank Magic you. Magic said he was hard charging. Magic and Cookie are supercharged for real. Thank you so